Hello guys, I am Dwight Crunch and I am Lukesh Kapoor and in this video we are going to see in action how we can debug the tokens. There are many instances when you have to debug a token. Uh, there can be cases, for example, you have a token, you think it should work but it is not working for some reason, you don't know. And uh, there are few solutions uh, that you can utilize in those instances. For example, uh, first you need to understand your token that you have and then you have to start from the lowest level of complexity that is possible for example you have a token like acf uh, colon birdie and then filter something filter then filter something else then you have to understand what is the value of acf birdie and if it works then you can go with acf birdie uh, filter something otherwise you will need to understand why it's not working because all your efforts to ascertain the value of your entire token will go fail and listen until you understand uh, from the lowest complexity okay and then you can use the text editor with token widget because it is basically used to ascertain the values of tokens and works pretty well with that so i will recommend that you first use that widget uh, uh, instead of using any heading widget or uh, any other widget and you are dynamically using tokens then i would recommend that you use this widget uh, instead and then you can use the void dump function that is a php function you can use this function with a filter in conjunction with filter you can see all the data that is hold by that token that you have and you can also use a colon just after your token like this i have this is a flexible field okay and i have a few items inside of it and if i want to see like what it holds in array then i can use this colon just after it okay to see all the data or objects inside of my array function or inside my array okay so this was how i could you know ascertain the objects of my array so that i could utilize them and then you should also know a few basics of the tokens like uh, the structure of the token how it opens uh, what it contains and how you can uh, add the subfield or field using the colon or filter so filters basically you can also use functions with them and for the functions the first parameter of the function is the value of the token itself so you also need to understand it and uh, if you want to utilize a second parameter then you will need to first uh, ignore the first parameter because it is already the first uh, the value of the token okay so you need to understand it and you can also look into all the possible cases why your uh, token is not working because it might be the case that there's some syntax error or there's error with the you know grammar and if that is not the case then you can uh, surely get uh, a solution with this var dump or this uh, token uh, colon okay so this is how you can debug your token and eventually get to know what is missing or how you can actually utilize it so thanks for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it please give it a huge thumbs up and if you are a new user please subscribe to my channel for watching more videos like this till then bye bye and have a wonderful day stay healthy stay blessed bye